Alright, oh, that win. Come on. Beautiful day, though. Early April, upper 50s, low 60s, sunny. All the trees are blooming. I mean, I was out here yesterday uh, trying to do this exact same thing. It was very windy as well. I also was uh, suffering from a, um, a COVID vaccine reaction, not a reaction, but you know, you hear of those uh, side effects and I, I definitely was suffering from them. Um, and I was out of it for about half a day. Getting people, getting people, uh, so we can start people. Oh boy, that vaccine is kicking in. Lights were on, no it is home. All right, so uh, really this is hopefully gonna be a quick video. I just wanted to go a little bit more in detail uh, in terms of what's going on with their back and also kind of show you some of the, uh, the features that I'm pretty excited about um, and give you a little bit of a timeline as to when we can expect to have a quote unquote market ready a bag available for the general public. All right, so bag updates. So uh, for those of you who don't know, um, one of the pillars of Fathercraft, one of the reasons we started Fathercraft was uh, to to be able to create a physical products, uh, especially a bag um, designed for with dads in mind. Um, obviously, diaper bags are a uh, a, a mom cornered market. Uh, so meaning, you know, diaper bags that are out there today are built for mom. We had a uh, green and white polka dot Kate Spade diaper bag for maybe three years and it was a lovely bag Honestly, it wasn't that functional um, and I did not like carrying it around it just uh, I think it was designed more with uh, Fashion in mind as opposed to functionality. So one of the things that we wanted to do with Fathercraft is be able to create a bag um, Designed with dads in mind, but also super functional but Also have that stylistic component in mind as well and I think what we're what we're approaching here is nailing all three of those. Um, and so what we've got here is our third prototype. Um, so over the last maybe year and a half or so, we started um, with the creation of the bag, starting with a tech pack, basically a uh, blueprint for what the bag's gonna look like, how it's gonna function, um, and then with some sampling and some prototypes um, over the, over the past summer. Uh, to this um, and there's been a lot of bumps along the way uh, a lot of slowdowns COVID thanks COVID and just some other other things life in general that that has um, you know kind of slowed this project to a crawl over the last year year and a half or so so uh, about two or three months ago we uh, met a gentleman named Austin who uh, owns a company called build studios and he um, he just kind of read the a whole new life into this project. So really he uh, found a couple of flaws in our original tech pack that he updated, some design ideas that he helped us with, and then he created this prototype like within a week. So it, it's been amazing. So over the last two months, I think we've made more progress than we had over the last year or so. So we're super excited to be where we are right now. Um, and where we are is about hopefully um, two months or so away from having a, 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 a like I said, a market ready bag. And, I'm gonna wait for the wind again. It's really messing up my hair. So what the timeline is now, we've got this, uh, the third prototype here. Uh, we're gonna make a couple minor changes to this. We'll send it back to Austin. He's gonna update this bag, this actual bag. Send it back to me. We'll give it the A-OK. -okay, um, and then we'll ship this updated bag to the factory. The turnaround time there is about a month. So conservatively, uh, beginning of June, we'll have um, the final product and I can't wait. So what I'm gonna do over the next month or so is start highlighting um, some features that we really like. So today um, I wanted to talk about this um, accordion insert idea that we have uh, to help organize the inside of the back. Um, so really if you think about it there may be five or six essential items that you need in a diaper bag. You need diapers, wipes, uh, a bottle, maybe a formula container, uh, burp cloth, potentially a blanket, uh, maybe a pacifier. So this accordion insert, again, this is not the final version of this insert, but 
the idea still remains. Um, what you've got is this, and I hope you can see this. We'll find out in a little bit later. But what you got is this removable insert. Uh, six pockets that can hold everything from your formula container to diapers, bottle, basically all of those essential items that you need in a bag, all in this compartment. Um, and it's amazing. Um, another aspect of this bag is that it's both a messenger bag and a backpack. So right now you can see it's in messenger mode. Everything is stored away as it needs to be. But once it's in backpack mode, you can flip this thing around and orient it so it's vertical when the bag is vertical. Uh, and I just, I just love the idea of having, um, you know, the compartmentalized aspect of a bag. There's a spot for everything. And the other thing I really like here are the buckles. These are Fidlock magnetic buckles. I don't know if you can see that. They are super dope. They are magnetic. They're easy to open, easy to close. But when they're closed, this thing can hold like a thousand pounds worth of force. So they're not going anywhere. Really, that's all I wanted to talk about with the bag today. Just a couple of features that I'm excited about. And I think you guys will be too. Enjoy the wind. So yeah, um, let us know in the comments if you have any other questions or uh, any uh, any anything that potentially you want to see in a bag um, that's important to you. Um, I'm happy to hear them. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm uh, cutting this off short because I'm being surrounded by park workers and getting loud and I need to get out of here. So I uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.